witam serdecznie w kolejnym odcinku z gry Powrót do Przyszłości. Z tej strony Nina i kontynuujemy. Nie wiedziałem, że takie coś jest. Kurde. Okej, okay. a, tu jesteście. Tak myślałam. No, spowiadaj się teraz. Co ty się tam robiłeś? Ona próbowała rozbudować moją personalność z zewnątrz. Zobaczyła te parce, które nie lubiła. Harsh. To tak się da? Hej, to jest moja mama. Hej! Nie mówię do niej. Ona może nam dać się. No, teraz to nam najmniej potrzebne. Właśnie, czemu ty się z nią no fajtałeś, co? Ale dlaczego marzy Edna w ogóle? Ona jest... Ona jest trochę krazy. Bardzo. Tak, teraz. Ale kiedy byliśmy pierwszy raz, jej mężczyzna była zaskoczona z tym, że 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 była zaskoczona z tym. No. Czy nie powinniśmy pomóc? Kiedy wrócimy i zmienić historię, nic z tego nie będzie zaskoczone. Oj. Myślę. What do we do now? Now we wait for the guards to clear out so we can make a break for your time machine. Oh, wait! All right, there, Tatus. Where is the DeLorean anyway? I had the wreck towed to my secret lab near Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine, as in Clara Clayton? Why is that significant? Well. Clara's kind of supposed to be your wife, so yeah. Fascinating. No, I some come. Mom, Dad, no. They'll be fine. Once we repair the time stream, none of this will ever have happened. I guess you're right. Okay. 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 Great. Let's go fix the DeLorean. I'm afraid I'll have to do that without you, Martin. What? No, but why? You should be telling me. From what little I understand of time travel, if you help me rebuild the time machine, your presence in the repair efforts could cause some sort of temporal paradox after we return to 1931. So what am I supposed to do? Just hang out here in Bizarro Hill Valley until you fix the time machine? No, it's just a thing. Exactly. But don't worry. If things work out according to plan, you won't even notice I'm gone. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real Doc. See? We're making progress already. See you soon, Martin. No. Good luck, oh. Your Honor. Oh, and you might want to stay off the streets for a few seconds. I'll tremble. Stay off the street? Citizen Brown? Is he put prondem, or what? Emmett? Well, I think we should just leave him alone. He's not coming back, you know. What are you talking about? Emmett? Without me to guide him? He's almost useless. Before I found him, he was a miserable failure who never finished anything. But with me to inspire him? Look at what we've built! You think you've inspired Doc? I'll have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time-traveling DeLorean and a flying time train. Preposterous! Emmett couldn't even build a dog feeder without me to guide him. Yeah, well, he did that too. Not the only inspiration of Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Sweetness. Yeah. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's so easily distracted. Oh, he's a master. He's a genius. Genius is always doing everything at once. 
Yeah, you've inspired him all right. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. I wouldn't expect a delinquent like you to understand. Okay, Your Honor. Starting to get a little concerned here. Już naprawiłeś? It worked! Ha ha! One second I'm in present, the next I'm six months in the past! Amazing! Zaraz, moment. Six months? It took you six months to repair the time machine? Six months, my family fortune, and a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals. But it was all worth it for this moment. Ha ha! Emmett! Don't do this! You need help! Oh, blow it out of your exhaust, poor dear. Now that I've escaped into the past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't... <gasps> Mark, how long have you been waiting for me? A couple okay. of minutes, maybe? That's curious. I set the repair time circuits to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Oh, well. I'm sure there's no need for concern. It's probably just a part of this calibration of the time circuits. Here. What's this? Clothes for our trip. We can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous outfit. Wait, our trip? You didn't think I was going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help, did you? Fine, leave! I run this town! No. Time circuit set for August 26, 1931. You ready to go, Your Honor? Call me, Doc. Mm -hmm. This is where I last saw him. You. Teenage you. You were headed this way, arm in arm with Edna. Ugh. Luckily, my erstwhile wife was never the type to kiss on a first date. If we work fast and stay focused, we can see to it that there. I mean, um, our relationship never moves beyond the hand-holding stage. Well, will you look at that? The old town theater. No. Very cool. I haven't thought about this place in years. The missus made me tear it down back in 71. Said the movies were corrupting the younger generation. It was all nonsense, of course. I spent countless evenings here in my youth, and it never turned me into a hoodlum. Say, remember Public Enemy? Why, you dirty rat, no good yellow-bellied stool? It never did manage to see Frankenstein, though. Po to tu jesteśmy, żeby się obejrzał. That's what we're here for. You've got to get young you to see Frankenstein. To cię naprostuje. Right, of course, the film that was supposed to set off a chain reaction in my imagination, inspire me with a notion that would launch my scientific career. You've still got no memory of what that notion was? Well, how could I? It happened in the brain of a different Emmett Brown. An Emmett Brown now erased by the shifting sands of time. Luckily for us, I do know something about my own brain, having lived in it for the past 70 plus years. Once we get my younger self re-inspired by that movie, nothing will distract him from his proper... <gasps> Great Scott, will you look at that? The town square? It's just like I remember it, only dirtier. Oh, the old courthouse. Come on now, Doc, you need to... Go huh? inside and check it out. First rule of time travel, Doc, never allow your other self to catch sight of you. It could cause reality to collapse or something. You mean? Right behind you. Don't peek. Go on. I'll let you know when you're gone. And don't forget your Carl Sagan. The billions and billions guy? The suspected arsonist. Huh? Just go with it. Eko zamknął znowu. Oj, ryno. 
Dobra, chodźmy namówić go. W jaki sposób to zrobię? Swoim niebanalnym poczuciem humoru? Urokiem osobistym? Czy po prostu elokwencją? Sonny! You do show up at the oddest moments. Where have you been hiding? Ja gdzieś tam. <laughs> Tego nie lepiej. Tego też nie w tym. Oh, you know, here and there, you're a little hard to pin down yourself. I went looking for you last night, but I believe I was off entertaining a beautiful lady. <laughs> no, haha, <laughs> no. You know, I never really got a chance to thank you. Well, I'm sure you would have escaped Ken on your own. Kid. Oh, sure, I'm grateful for that, but no, I'm talking about Edna. It's funny to think of now, but until that crisis, I actually thought Edna and I disliked one another. <laughs> Imagine! Nie, zaufaj pierwszemu wrażeniu. Nie, porozmawiajmy, nie, zapomnij. Dziewczyny to nie wszystko o. Yeah, well, girls are great and all, but don't get carried away. The thing is, you shouldn't let Edna distract you from, you know, the business at hand. Finishing your project for the expo and going to see Frankenstein. Oh, I'm far too busy for movies Jak? these days. Co uh, planujesz, małżeństwo? That's my project. It's practically no, done. The rocket car? The rocket car? Boy, are you out of date. I've junked a rocket car. But more trouble than it's worth. I'll never figure out a propulsion system that does what I want it to do. And besides, its social utility is practically non-existent. Yeah. Uh... Social utility? Since when do you care about the mental alignment meter is a much more worthy Super. project? The what? It was Edna's idea, and she's really been cracking the whip to get me to complete it in time for the expo. Damn it, I'm a little confused here. Ja nie. What day is it? Why, it's opening day. The opening day of the expo. Which reminds me, I'd better skedaddle back to the lab. If Edna zapytno. catches me dawdling, there'll be heck to pay. Catch you around, Crockett. October 12th. Doc. Big him. Let's go scarge me tyle. Co się z kalibracją zrąbało? I always did have a tendency to plunge into things. No. Let's plunge into the DeLorean and get to the right date. No, it's far too risky. Remember how I was late picking you up in 86? Yeah. That should have been a tip off. Something is horribly wrong with the time circuits. And the problem appears to be getting worse. If we try to jump now, we could find ourselves stranded in a Cenozoic age. It's oh, 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 The Mesozoic. Oh, we stuck? For the time being. I'll look into the problem and see what I can do. In the meantime, you can go to work on the other problem. Right. I'll go to the lab and see if I can talk teenage you out of... Impossible. If young me is already as infatuated as you say, you're not going to be able to talk him out of anything. Believe me, I remember. Better to focus on the more clear-headed half of the couple. Edna. Edna. Where can I find her? Where do you think? Uh -huh. I'll drive. The DeLorean uh. should still function adequately as a means of conveyance in the first three coś, dimensions. Żeby nie wygrał tych tam tej nagrody na tych targach, żeby to nie pokazał po prostu. Trzeba to zepsuć. Taki jest mój plan. You were right. There she is. My soon-to-be ex-future wife is nothing if not predictable. Do I really have to talk to her? I mean, couldn't I just hang out until you fix the time circuits and... Oh! I'll talk to her. <laughs> you better get the DeLorean out of sight before someone... Hey you! Quit blocking the drive! All Car of the Future contestants need to report to the North Tent! Why not? <laughs> Good luck! I shouldn't go anywhere until I've talked to Edna. To mnie dziwi streszczenie wydarzeń. Tego tu nie było wcześniej chyba. 
Arthur McFly, możemy pogadać? Hey Artie! Officer! Officer? Oh, right! Don't blow your cover. Will you please keep your mind on the task at hand? Can't talk right now. Muszę z nią pogadać, tak? Spell it! B R O W N. It's not exactly an obscure name. I still don't see it on the list. I'm sorry. Oh, for the love. Let me try this one more time. This is the Hill Valley Science Expo, right? First annual. Indeed. The purpose of our fair is to showcase cutting edge technology. That's right. And to burnish Hill Valley's reputation as a forward thinking community. And yet, you want to exclude the maker of the most revolutionary breakthrough of all. It's not that I want to, but... Oh, dear. Mr. Crockett! You do pop up at the oddest times. What are you doing here? I just saw it earlier. I forgot it, right? I need to... Whatever it is, I hope yeah. you don't have to deal with Mr. Stonewall here. His sole function seems to be preventing people from accomplishing their business. Honestly, with him keeping the books, it's a wonder the Tannen gang got as far as they did. Uh. Have you seen Emmett? Uh, nie. Uh, no. Oh, then you've heard all about his big breakthrough, the mental alignment meter. Isn't it exciting? And to think he didn't even realize the import of his discovery until I pointed it out to him. I've never known anyone like him, so oblivious to his own potential. I kind of wanted to talk to you about Emmett and his potential. Funny, I didn't spot it myself at first. In fact, for the longest time, I thought I didn't even like him. <laughs> no, it's a yeah. complete impression. Yeah. <sighs> well, you know, those gut instincts are important. If you disliked him right off the bat. Oh, but I didn't know him then. Now I know him inside and out. Yeah, but... I appreciate your concerns, Mr. Crockett, but I can take care of myself. I know what I'm looking for in a man, and it so happens Emmett fits the bill to a T. Well, that's, not that's Emmett Brown. Rhymes with clown, which I'm beginning to think you are. Just a simple mix-up, I'm sure. I've no doubt of that. Okej, okay, znowu ogarnięcie kotów. Ja się oszaleję. Dobra, y, co tu mam do zrobienia? Pogadać z facetem? Hey, excuse me. Yeah? Ojej. When does the expo Not open? Not tonight. Anybody without official business here, please get off the grounds. Jak you got miły. official business here? Yeah. Well, stay out of the way of the workers. You look familiar. Do I know you? Absolutely uh, not. Nope. Edna. Ahem. <clears throat> you said that Emmett fits your bill of requirements for a Aha, man. Trzeba zmienić yes. Jego What would that list be exactly? You'd make a good reporter, Mr. Crockett. You know that? Wiem. Well, his physical appearance for one thing. Emmett may not be Clark Gable, but he cleans up surprisingly well. I gave him my grandfather's white suit to wear at the expo. Oh, you should see him in it. He looks positively radiant. Looks good in a suit. Got it. And he's completely devoted to me. That's important. I've got no time or tolerance for playboys. Faithful as a Labrador. Check. Thirdly, and most important... Yes? Well, his mind, of course. It's brilliant, and it's virtuous through and through. His own mind map shows him to be a model citizen. Oh. Good brain, I see. And if it turned out that you were mistaken about any of these qualities... Say, what's your game? Just it? curious, just trying to understand the female mind. Don't well, on, understand no. this. I'm not some faint-hearted girl who'd run away at the first hint of trouble. I've made a big investment in Emmett. Not money, but I've sunk all my ambitions into him. I'd have to be thoroughly disillusioned before I'd call it quits with Emmett. Got it? Uh huh. Now, Mr. Cub Reporter, is there anything else? Oh. Uh. Rather hard for me to picture Emmett as a chick magnet. Chick magnet? A guy who gets the girls, you know, motors running. Motors? Who makes them, y you know. You mean a chic? 
Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a matter of taste, I suppose, but when he's properly pomaded and decked out in my grandfather's white suit, and it just glows, makes my heart flutter a bit just to picture him. Well. What the heck is this mental alignment meter of Emmett's? Oh, it's an absolutely revolutionary invention! Measures a person's affinities, what he's attracted oh. to, what he's repulsed by, that sort of thing. Interesting. And it really works? Well, of course! What's the point of inventing something that doesn't work? Or, anyway, it works well enough for my purposes. No, no, no. So you say Emmett only has eyes for you? Absolutely. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. Well, it's good to hear he's finally settling down. Yes. Settling down? No. You know, ready to stop playing the field, as it were. Playing the... Oh, you're joking! Um, trzeba jego opinię. But I can't help feeling sorry for him. Who? All of Emmett's other girls, now that he's with you. Please, I think I know Emmett by now. There are no other girls. Znasz go dwa miesiące. O! Oh. Oh. I wonder what's going to happen to Emmett's little black book. Little black book? Oh, it's legendary. That's what enabled Emmett to become the, uh, Valentino of Hill Valley High. Gee, I wonder if he'd let me have it. You must think I'm pretty gullible, Mr. Crockett. No, trochę. You say you know Emmett as a model citizen, but you don't know him as well as I do. Did you know he once cheated some Libyans out of plutonium? Yeah. Oh, yeah, plutonium? Yeah. What would Libyans want with plutonium? I'm sure he had a very good reason. Emmett's mind map demonstrates conclusively his brain is oriented toward virtue. Mm. This one time, to power one of his science experiments, <laughs> Emmett hijacked a train. Please, there hasn't been a train hijacking in Hill Valley since the days of Mad Dog Tannen. Uh... Emmett's done a lot of shady things in this time. My vice principal warned me to stay away from him. Your vice principal sounds like a dolt. Dobra, tu chyba nie możesz co dyskutować z nią. That's all the questions I got. Very well then. Oh, ta, Trixie, tak? Hey, Audi, you see my Orioli? Co I mean Audi? this? Yeah, thanks. Uh. She gets to come and go freely, and I'm forced to wait. I love it. Czy to mi wystarczy? Ale jestem w stanie teraz z nią jeszcze pogadać o czymś? Back again, Mr. Crockett? What can I help you with? I was thinking. What's Trixie Trotter doing in that outfit? What's she doing here at all? That's the question. Women of that sort are generally found outside cheap hotels, not science expos. Dobra. Tu chyba już nic nie wymyślę, więc musimy się inaczej zadziałać. Well, Zatem... How about you? Have you got any questions for me? Uh, uh no. Then no. kindly let me pass. Uh, no. I am afraid I can't until I've located your registration form. Oh, this is absurd! Tam mogę z nim pogadać jeszcze? Hey, Artie! Can't talk right now. No, dobra, spoko. Idę do tego, gdzie my biegiem. Oj. Do doktorka. Chyba. O, jakie ładne kwiatki. Ym. O, tu chcę. O, chcę z nim pogadać. Doktorek, słuchaj. Co ja mam zrobić? Ja nie wiem. Oh, I'll be here if you need any help. Do you need any help? Mm. Any idea what your teenage self is doing right now? Unless I miss my guess, he's in the garage frantically working on his latest invention and cursing because he can't quite get it to work. Mm -hmm. Damn! Mm -hmm. uh... So, what do we do about Edna? Only one thing we can do. Lie. Make me out to be a less desirable catch than I really am. Why would she believe me? She said she knows you inside and out. Then you'll have to resort to skullduggery. You've done it before. You've got to be getting good at it by now. 
Yeah, I guess I am. Have you figured out what's wrong no. with the time circuits? Not sure. Not Possibly. It seems to me to be a simple wiring issue, but I'm double checking to make sure. All the basic equipment appears to be functional. Um, any chance I could borrow the DeLorean? I want to drop in on Young Yu at the lab. Well, I don't know. The time circuits. Listen, I promise I won't take it to 88. Even so, I'm worried about letting it out of my sight while it's still behaving unpredictably. No, she's just taking his routine. Tell you what, I'll take it on a test drive one minute into the past. If it passes the test, I'll let you borrow it. Ale jeszcze miałem jedno pytanie. Jak on pojedzie i już nie wróci, to. Okay. He worked. Didn't it? I'm afraid not. In fact, the discrepancy appears to be getting worse. I arrived six hours ago. Oh, too bad. I didn't want to risk undoing any of the work you've done thus far, so I kept out of sight. But the time lag wasn't entirely a waste. I stopped by the hardware store and bought the parts for a chronometric analyzer. A what? A diagnostic device. See, I plug it into the time circuits and set them to cycle. When the green light goes off, I should have the data I'll need to understand the scope of the problem. Mm -hmm. Hey, no driving the exhibits off the lot! Looks like you'll have to find another set of wheels if you want to get to the lab. Dobra, wezmę sobie rower. A to co tu robi? Zaprasza? Dobra, chodźmy do niej na chwilę. No hej, Pixi, pamiętasz mnie? <coughs> to all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. Oh. To all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. To all who... Hello. Oh, hiya, kid. Say, aren't you the fellow who... Got you to turn on Kid Tannen? You bet. You look younger without your mustache. That was a dirty trick, you know, making me think Kid had gone and iced Artie. I'm sorry, but it was the only way I could... Ah, uh, forget about it. I'm trying to. Yesterday's in the past. That's my motto. You gotta live for today. Right. So what are you doing down here anyway? Do you wish to pull the levers that control the future? Ah. Uh. At the expo, silly. Technology for a better tomorrow and all that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's actually why I'm here. Uh, okay. Moment, to jest jeszcze na dole. His idea was to put a science and technology expo in Hill Valley. Beats me. Artie says it's all bread and circuses. But I ain't seen a single clown yet today. How's kids' trial going? Slowly. You know what they say. The wheels of justice grind slowly, but infinitely fine. Except in Hill Valley, where they don't move at all. What? Nothing. It's just, you know, something I heard once. So no regrets about turning them in? None at all. I should have known better than to take up with them in the first place. But what can I say? I was dumb. I let myself get taken in by his charm. Charm? Dobra, każdy ma swoje uroki, nie? So, Artie's working for the Expo too, huh? Oh, Artie's doing swell! The papers made a big deal of him testifying against Kid. People have been beating down his door ever since the trial. The Expo's darn lucky they could get him. I siedzi gdzie? Na stołeczku przy wejściu i sprawdza listę gości. Brawo. To jest awans społeczny, nie? Z księgowego mafii. Yy. So, who are you supposed to be? Don't you know your Homer? I am Techni Muse of Progress. You can no. tell by the lightning bolts. Must have slept through that class. I'm supposed to be a goddess like. I'm the one who inspires all the great men who make the discoveries. And women too. Leave us not forget Madame Curie. I never would. So you work for the Expo? Yeah, ain't it a kick? I greet all the important guests. And on the final day, I get to bestow the golden sundial on the winning contestant. No, super. Technique, muse of progress. Not a bad gig. Artie got it for me. It's my entree into respectability. Bravo. Dobra, ale abstrahując od twojej przyzwoitości. Pomóż mi zbudzić zazdrość we mnie. Listen, I've got a proposal for you. I have this friend, right? No dice. I'm only seeing Artie now. It's not like that. See, my friend's in a relationship with 
Edna Strickland. Oh, poor schmuck. I wouldn't wish her on anyone. Then you see where I'm coming from. He won't listen to reason, but I thought she might call it off if she thought he and you were, you know. Ah, you are an evil imp, ain't ya? Sometimes a guy's got to resort to underhanded tricks. What do you say? Sorry. What's your uh, Edna might be a pill, but if I play dirty tricks on every dame who disapproves of me, well, well, I, I play a lot of dirty tricks. Besides, such stunts are beneath the dignity of Techni Muse of Progress. Oh, gosh. No, dobra. No, pomóż mi. Look, my friend Emmett really needs help. The one who's going out with Edna Strickland? You're darn right he needs help. I'm not asking you to actually seduce him. Just make her think that you two have a thing going. It'll drive her crazy. <laughs> I guess it would. So... Uh-uh. I wouldn't do that to another girl unless I was good and mad at her. And besides, it might tarnish my image as a muse. From this chamber of wonders, we bid you a fond adieu. Co ty facet liczysz, gołębie? Co on tam liczy? W ogóle nazywa się facet. Makieta. Oi. Press button to experience Future Hill Valley, circa 1981. Dobra. I don't think I've visited that timeline yet. Wszystko przed tobą i mogę tu nacisnąć? Agricultural advances will make it a breeze to feed our burgeoning population. Tired of waiting for Mother Nature to do her job? Just My future wouldn't be built so shoddily. Uh, hi, Miss Strickland. I was just... Break what you like, Mr. Crockett. It's no skin off my nose. Just keep away from Emmett's booth. Speaking of whom, I'd better go see what's keeping him. Um... I'll go check on him for you. I was just heading there anyway. No, you weren't. The last thing he needs is another distraction at the 11th hour. But... Tut -tut. Not another word. I've got the rest of the day all mapped out. Miss Strickland! Sorry. I'm sorry, I don't recognize you. Heavens, you've shaved off your hair, but... Carl Sagan? I'd like a word with you, if I may. I'm not sure it would be seemly for me to be seen in the company of an alleged arsonist. I think it may be in your best interest. You see, I know what you're up to. Let's go somewhere where we can talk privately. Co mi powiedziałeś? Go. I'll keep her occupied till you get back. I wish the courthouse did look like that in 1981. Dobra, to chyba już nic nie wskuram, ale... go. No dobra, to go. Po co mi ten pryzmat? Dobra, kipunek. No mamy... skórówkę. No to wie. Nie? To nie wiem, gdzie mam iść. Na ulicę. Hang on, Emmett. Hope you're ready for a big breakup. Thanks again for your assistance, Detective Parker. Detective? Huh. What the hell is Kid doing here? Nothing criminal, I assure you. I was just getting a mind map of Mr. Tannen for our exhibition at the Expo. The authorities wouldn't allow Edna and I to stage a demonstration of the mental alignment meter with a violent felon, but this little baby is just as good. Okay, let's see now, what's next? Check the stew, sort the maps. Ooh, I almost forgot that. Edna really is cracking the whip, isn't she? Well, yes, but she's got my best interests at heart. Without her, I can get so distracted. 
Did she send you down here to check up on me? Uh, yeah, she wanted to come herself, but... She's busy too, I know. Well, you're a poor substitute for Edna's lovely features, but make yourself at home. Thanks. No thanks are necessary. Without you, I'd never be where I am now. In love with a woman of my dreams. And a mere six hours from my first public triumph as a scientist. Wait a minute. Six hours? Jumping Jehoshaphat, I'm running out of time! Tylko mnie on przypomina tego królika z Alicji. No dobrze, co my tu mamy? I don't care about Trixie Trotter. Edna doesn't approve of that sort of music, but I find it very soothing. Oh. the mental alignment thing work? Here, I'll show you. Hey, the test subject wears this mind mapping helmet which probes the brain by measuring fluctuations in skin conductance and electrical resistance on the surface of the parietal lobe. When I turn on the mind mapping helmet with this radio switch, the subject is exposed to a series of visual stimuli intended to provoke a series of positive or negative responses as indicated by these lights on the helmet. Hey, is that? As the responses are recorded, they're relayed to this special typewriter, which prints out a punch card that represents the subject's mind map. All I see is a bunch of holes. Well, uh, to you, maybe. But to our mental alignment meter, this mind map is nothing less than a peek into your subconscious. Observe, as I place your mind map into the M.A.M. Hey, Belle. Is that machine calling me a slacker? No, your own physiological responses did. <laughs> What's this? The mind map cards from the dozens of subjects I've tested during the last few weeks. I've got to get them sorted before the expo begins. Why? Edna's got this grand scheme to catalog all of Hill Valley citizens by their mental alignment. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Not really. Dobra. Emmet, tu mamy jeszcze akwarium. How goes the bacteria farm? Not so hot. The bacteria have kind of gotten out of control. I had to put a clamp on the nitrogen tube to keep the stench from flooding the lab. Oh. I to jest dobry pomysł. You. Oh, did the clamp fall off again? Um, yeah. Put it back on. Oh, I don't even know why I keep that bacteria tank around. Every time the clamp falls off the nitrogen tube, it takes a couple of minutes before I can get the stench out of the air. Whew. Hmm. Jak to wszystko połączyć? Hey, could we watch Frankenstein on this? Sorry, Sonny, but I need this projector to trigger positive and negative visual stimuli for my mental alignment tests. Besides, a movie like Frankenstein should really be watched on a big screen, don't you think? No. Oj. Oj, co się tak obróciłeś? Przestań. Potrawka. Chcemy coś? What's cooking? Nom, nom, nom. That's an old brown family recipe for Hassenpfeffer. Hassenpfeffer? Rabbit stew. The trick is to add the cumin an hour after the carrots. Take a whiff. Mm, isn't that just about the best thing you've ever smelled in your life? It's, um, powerful, yeah. I've got it on a slow boil for later. To są pozytywne, negatywne i neutralne pewnie. No i teraz co dalej? Tabliczka. Oh. What's this? It's the placard we'll be putting in front of our booth at the expo. The scientist that caught Kid Tannen? A small exaggeration, but Edna says it'll attract investors. What do you think of the picture? Uh, no, nie jest zbyt dobre. You look a little... constipated. What? Edna said I looked intense. 
Yeah, intensely focused on taking it. I get the picture. Hmm. I'll have to find a better one. Unfortunately, there's a lot to choose from. Heavy. Extremely. Mother has been rather obsessive about photographically cataloging my life. Um. Dobra, mam mu dobre zdjęcie, przepraszam. Matko, nie to rzeczy znowu jest. Bo kopnie. Podejrzewam, że mam go wkurzyć może, ale co, w czym to się wtedy e, skończy? Znaczy, on tam coś rzucił, nie? Jakąś książkę, album czy coś tam. I gdzie to jest? Tu. Teraz przejrzymy. Damn it. I've got an idea. What? Why don't I take your photo album over to Edna so she can pick out your new picture? That's a great idea. She's got a better eye for these things than I do anyway. Thanks, pal. Don't mention it. Mm -hmm. So this machine takes those little cards and tells you whether or not someone's a good guy or bad guy? Kind of. Actually, the helmet does all the work. The mental alignment meter is just a glorified arcade machine. So why not just go with the cards? And it says that people respond well to flashing lights and snap judgments. I can't argue with that. Every time I kiss her, I see flashing lights and lose all sense of judgment. No kidding. Yeah. Dobra, to jest zawór. Zawór był czerwony się robił. Uh, oh, what the? What's this? That's a can of used motor oil, rocket fuel waste, and assorted chemical sludge left over from my abandoned rocket car. Gross. Accounting doesn't enter into it, but it is disgusting. Would you mind disposing of it on your way out? Uh, sure. Let's see if we can find a garniture. Let's see if we can find Edna. Just for two of them. Przednica też była na czerwono. Co jeszcze było na czerwono? Ona ma umysł Emeta. Co tam pochodzi? Jeśli Emet's mind map, I better replace it with another one. The mind of a degenerate criminal. This kid Tannen's mind map, as captured by our mind map helmet. You could tell he's a criminal just by looking at this? No, but when it's fed into the mental alignment meter... <laughs> Weird. Weird, nothing. It's science. No, kabywa dziwna. This thing reads Emmett's mind maps. Mogę na niego wylać to przypadkiem, ale to będzie hamski straszliwie. Hey Emmett, got a sec? Why yes. In fact, I've got several. Mm. I can't believe you invented all this in two months. Well, like I said, there's not really a whole lot of inventing going on here. I just dressed up a $5 potentiometer with a lot of bells and whistles. But... Don't get me wrong, it does a remarkable job of telling whether a subject is currently liking or disliking what they're experiencing. But all the extra stuff about sorting out criminals from model citizens is mostly a bunch of hooey at this point. Uh -huh. Where are things between you and your father? I'm kind of surprised he hasn't torn down your lab yet. Well, he's still angry with me and threatening to cut me out of his will, but I'm hoping that the civic potential of my mental alignment meter will win him over. What do you say we take a break for a couple of hours and go see a movie? A couple of hours? Actually, it may be more like 70 minutes. I haven't got a couple of hours. I still got all these mind maps to sort, and the MAM's wiring is still giving me fits, and... I get it, you're busy. Mm-hmm. Now, what's with the new threads? Do you like them? You look like Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Who? Never mind. Okay. Edna gave them to me. She says my usual clothes don't have enough zing for a public exhibition.
You sure you don't want to take in a movie? I think you'll like it. Strange as it may sound, I've got more pressing things to think about than going out to movies. <sighs> okay. Is all this new stuff what you're showing off at the expo? Yes, it's our mental alignment meter. Mental alignment meter? I think we're working on some sort of rocket car. Oh, the rocket propulsion system was far too unreliable, as that incident with Einstein proved. By the way, whatever happened to Einstein? I wish I knew. Anyway, I started tinkering with an alternate method of propulsion, but that was before things started heating up with Edna. Our conversations about the possibilities of applying technology to social ills pushed my research in a whole new direction! What's a mental alignment meter? It's the most revolutionary piece of technology since the cotton gin. What does it do? It reads and interprets the subconscious desires of the human mind. Hmm. Why would you want to probe people's minds? Why wouldn't you? Imagine being able to diagnose mental disorders with a flick of a switch, or detect the truthfulness of courtroom testimony merely by connecting a witness to a small portable device. Your machine does all that? Not yet. Frankly, right now the whole thing's just a gussied up potentiometer. But with years of refinements and a whole lot of investors, the MAM will be able to identify countless psychosis and neurosis, mm -hmm. alcoholism, acrophobia, Oedipal complexes. And? And then we can set about curing them, of course. Of course. Anyway. No, jak próbował, mamy tam właśnie ten. Make a mind map of yourself. Of course. Take a look. Edna's right. No, you are a model było. citizen. At least as far as my invention's concerned. Confidentially, this whole enterprise is a little light on the hard science and a little heavy on the smoke and mirrors. So, you and Edna, how serious are you guys? Well, we both enjoy a good joke every now and then, but I'd say on the whole we're fairly serious people. Why do you ask? No, no. What I mean is, how serious is your relationship? Oh, well, as a scientist, I can't state this with 100% confidence, but I'm provisionally certain that I'm head over heels in love. Yeah. Really? With Edna? What can I say? She's my muse. In the weeks since we've been courting, she's given me so many wonderful ideas. Mm-hmm. You sure Edna's the right woman for you? What do you mean? Um, Don't you think she's a little... Uh, controlling? Controlling? Edna? No, 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 no. She's just giving me a little much-needed guidance. Before I met her, I was such a flippity gibbet. Always getting distracted by the slightest stray idea. But now, thanks to Edna, I stay focused on the task in front of me, like a narrow band stream of stimulated photon emissions. Hmm. Focused! Uh -huh. Isn't she a little... Uh, cold? Don't let the school marm exterior fool you, buddy. Edna's got enough warmth to raise a liter of water from zero to a hundred degrees centigrade. Know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I wish I didn't. Właśnie. I don't know. I, I just think Edna might be a little dangerous. Oh, I agree. You do? Like all independent women, she's a danger to the patriarchal status quo. That's one of the things I love about her. She shakes things up. You have no idea. I just think you should be careful, that's all. Thanks for the concern, but I'll be fine. Dobra. To wszystko. No, ja uważam, że ona nie dla ciebie. Oh, and who is she right for? You? Me? No way. Relax. I'm just yanking your tibia. Ah. Dobra, tu nic nie skuramy chyba, więc ja bym go oblała tym śniegiem. A to będzie chamskie. Ale najpierw sprawdzimy, gdzie idziesz. Stój tu, gdzie leziesz? Troszkę zoleję, ja że to jest chamskie bardzo. Hey Emmett, I've got a... Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. What the heck? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Your, your suit's ruined. Edna's gonna be royally PO'd. Wrong! 
What? When Edna gave me this suit, I realized that the probability of me keeping it clean was infinitesimally remote, so I spent a few hours whipping up this. Whoa! What was that? A no, chemical powder capable of wiping the grime off any surface! Topoka! You make a fortune! Not any time soon, I'm afraid. Due to an inerrant instability in its molecular makeup, after 12 hours, the cleanser's component chemicals break down into a series of cloth shredding enzymes, rendering it unsuitable for commercial use. Wait a minute, uh -huh. does that mean your suit's gonna dissolve in 12 hours? Uh -huh. Gods, no. The solution dissipates into the air after it's applied. But it does mean that after this batch of cleanser ages another 11 hours and 53 minutes, it would eat away this suit faster than a thousand starving moss. And that would be a crisis of unimaginable proportions. Why? Because this suit belongs to Edna's grandfather, who wore it on his wedding day. Poor guy was gunned down just a few years later. Emmett? Well, enough wool gathering. Back to work. Okay. Dobra, ja tu nic nie wymyślę. Tak więc to tyle w tym odcinku. Dziękuję za uwagę. Do usłyszenia. Pa pa.